need to pose questions in either language when we come to the question time. Ja, jag heter Staffan Nordmark och är ständig sekreterare här vid Kungliga Vetenskapsakademin. Och med mig som bisittare har jag två sakkunniga fysiker, professor Gunnar Ingelman, ordförande i klassen för fysik, som kan svara på frågor kring priset och som strax kommer att berätta lite mer. Och till vänster om mig har jag professor Olga Botner, ledamot i Nobelkommittén för fysik. Årets pris handlar om någonting oerhört litet som har en avgörande betydelse. Kungliga Vetenskapsakademin har beslutat utdela 2013 års Nobelpris i fysik till professor François Anglaire vid Université Libre de Bruxelles, Belgien och professor Peter Higgs vid University of Edinburgh, Storbritannien. Akademins motivering lyder för den teoretiska upptäckten av en mekanism som bidrar till förståelsen av massans ursprung hos subatomära partiklar och som nyligen genom upptäckten av den förutsagda fundamentala partikeln bekräftats av Atlas och CMS-experimenten vid Cerns accelerator LHC. This year's prize is about something very small that makes all the difference. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2013 Nobel Prize in Physics to Professor François Anglais at Université Libre de Bruxelles, Belgique, and Professor Peter Higgs at University of Edinburgh, United Kingdom. And the Academy's citation runs for the theoretical discovery of a mechanism that contributes to our understanding of the origin of mass of subatomic particles and which recently was confirmed through the discovery of the predicted fundamental particle by the Atlas and CMS experiments at Sands Large Hydrogen Collider. Professor Gunnar Ingelman will now give us a short summary in English, please. This is a triumph not only for Professor Angler and Professor Higgs, but for theoretical physics more generally, and actually the whole research field of elementary particle physics. It also illustrates the scientific method, namely to formulate theories based on mathematics in attempts to understand the laws of nature and testing them against experimental measurements. In 1964, François Angler, together with his now deceased colleague Robert Braut and Peter Higgs proposed independently of each other the, the theory to solve the fundamental problem of how particles acquire mass. Their theory became a cornerstone of the standard model for elementary particle physics, which describes all matter as being built of a few kinds of basic matter particles and all forces in nature as mediated by a few kinds of force particles. However, their theory required a totally new quantum field which should be manifested by a new and special kind of particle, the Higgs particle. This particle has now, at last, been observed last year by the ATLAS and CMS collaborations or experiments at the International CERN Laboratory outside uh, Geneva in Switzerland. Thank you, Professor Ingelman. And now I turn to Professor Olga Botner. Are you ready 